Everybody gets stuck at one point or another in their lives. If you don't have the guidance in your life, if you don't have the mentors, if you don't have the quality people that you need to have around you in order to thrive physically, mentally, emotionally, you're gonna be stuck. I'm gonna tell you right now that your situation may be other people's fault, but it is your responsibility to fix it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie and this is The Moving Average. The week has come to an end, so you guys know what time it is. Let's get in to Focus Fridays. If you're unfamiliar with the show, every Friday I like to drop a little bit of motivation and inspiration to help you progress in your life. By this point, you guys probably know me pretty well, and you know that I'm obsessed with reading books and like absorbing information from other people that have had far more life experience than me because I've never had mentors, because I've never had an individual person to help guide me in life. I had to look towards books, the internet, online research, all of those things that I had access to at my fingertips that weren't from somebody else. Just to give you a basic idea, this is what my book library looks like. The 4-Hour Workweek, The Science of Getting Rich, The Power of Now, Your Inner Awakening, The Four Agreements, Start Something That Matters, Ask and It Is Given, Scary Close, Unshakable, Crush It, Money Master the Game, The One Thing, Ten Pillars of Wealth, Crushing It, Flow, Choose Yourself, Millionaire Success Habits, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up, Expert Secrets, Start With Why. I think you guys get the picture. When you read a book written by somebody that has a collective life experience, they are at the end of their journey and they wanna share their progress with someone else. They wanna share their story with somebody else. You can absorb 50 years of knowledge, education, and experience in one book and you can cherry pick what works best for you or what resonates with you the most and you can use that in your tool belt, in your arsenal of becoming the person that you want to be. Now I'm gonna get to the point of this video in just a minute, but I wanna talk about one more book that I read. It was called The One Thing by Gary Keller. I had no idea who this person was. I got recommended this book by a friend of a friend. And so I read the book and it was so pivotal for me. Understanding that everything in your life has to be done in a specific order, but not everything has to be done. Let me explain this in the most basic of ways. So if you have 17 different problems that you need to take care of, if you really evaluate all of those things and set a priority level to each one, and then you think about what is the one thing of all of these that will either make the rest not important or already accomplished or easier to accomplish. There's always that one thing in the chain of events that you have to do that makes everything way easier. Now, it sounds easy to accomplish, but it really takes a lot of thought and processing of all of the information and looking at different angles of everything. The most simple analogy I can give you is you have a huge yard. You gotta cut the grass, you gotta trim the trees, the bushes, you gotta pick up all the dogs. Like there's just a laundry list of things to do on there. And you're crunching your head, how can this be done in the simplest, fastest way? And you can either do all of those things step by step, or you can focus on the one thing that you want done perfectly as you like and hire a couple of neighborhood kids for 10 or 20 bucks and they will do all of the rest of the stuff for you. So the one thing that you could do to resolve all of your issues was to ask for help or hire help. What I'm getting at is there's more efficient ways to accomplish things. Now, the primary reason I wanna talk about the one thing is because in your life you have financial stresses, you have relationship stresses, you have stresses at work, and all of these things, like when I deeply took my life in retrospect and just got a different view of things, like an overhead drone bird's eye view, I was like, what's the one thing that's gonna improve my situation? What's the one thing that I can do to really affect change in my life? 
and it was to increase my income. And I know that a lot of people say that money doesn't buy happiness, and I completely agree. Like, if you have billions of dollars, but inside you're just an emotional sack of, you know, garbage, it sucks, and money's not gonna change anything. But the type of money that I'm talking about is comfort money being able to easily pay your bills, being able to easily afford groceries, all of the things that are required in life for you to be relaxed and calm and feel safe, that amount of money is actually quite small in comparison to, you know, oh, I'll be happy with a billion dollars. I'm talking about like 50 grand a year, 75 grand a year, 82 grand a year. Those types of numbers is going to solve 99% of your problems. It is gonna fix the stress in your relationship. It is gonna fix the financial stress that you live in day in and day out, wondering if you're gonna be able to pay this month's mortgage or if you need to cut back on you know, buying this specific type of grocery and you need to start shopping at Walmart or the dollar store. All of these things that we constantly stress about usually stems from money. Now, given the current global economic and you know, situation, there are a lot of people that are either doing very well or there are a lot of people that are doing very bad. There's no in between, it's either polar opposites. So if you found yourself in a situation where you're massively struggling and you, you know, lost your job due to everything that's happening, you now can look at it as the glass is half full. You now have more time to work on things for yourself as opposed to investing that time into somebody else and growing their business. You guys have obviously found this channel because you want to increase your wealth. You wanna learn how to day trade. You wanna learn how to Forex trade. You wanna learn how to analyze the markets and be profitable that way work from home and make money over the internet. I've already made a video on different ways that you can make money online, but it takes time and it takes effort and it takes energy. Everything that is worthwhile in life is always going to take time, effort, and energy. Nothing good is easy. Now, the next thing that I wanna discuss really ties into this. It's self-awareness, being able to understand who you are and your habits and your tendencies. I know I say that you should never give up, but being self-aware enough to understand that you know day trading isn't for everybody, especially people that have gambling addictions, I'm not here to say that everybody on earth should be a day trader and make money that way. That's not my goal, that's not my purpose. I'm just trying to show you different avenues of being able to generate wealth. I'm a born and bred hustler. I've done everything from starting my own coffee shop, delivering dairy, Uber driving, getting my real estate license, like the list goes on and on. I even tried professional gambling. I did live in Vegas at the time, it was a thing. But I always had my eyes and ears open to different opportunities. And when I was a limo driver, I would take people to the Las Vegas sign every single day so they could take pictures in front of it. And most people, you know, had a family member take a picture of them or a selfie in front of it. But there was always one or two people standing in front of the Vegas sign holding a big camera with a sign that says, I'll take your picture for you. And they are professional photographers. They know settings, they know exposure, they know shutter speed, like they know their craft. And they've chosen, instead of to shoot weddings or corporate photography, to stand in front of the Vegas sign for eight hours a day and take pictures of tourists. And I'm like, this has to be lucrative if you're doing it. So I would talk to these people. and be like, yeah, you know, we get like 20 bucks for the pictures. We send them, you know, 20, 25 pictures that we've taken immediately airdropped to their phone. And I'm thinking to myself, Jesus, if you get 100 people a day, that's two grand, like... And this always fascinated me, being able to learn a craft, do it well, and then monetize that craft. And it was always something, like, like I'm really good at woodworking, and it would be phenomenal to have my own woodworking shop and like sell furniture and bowls and you know things that I've whittled out of wood. That would be really, really fun for me. But to learn that skill took me a long time. Thank God I learned it in high school where it was free. But now you guys have access to the internet. And any skill that like remotely piques your interest, you have the ability to go onto YouTube 
and search a library of umpteen million videos on how to do something. Whether it's video editing, whether it's photography, whether it's programming or IT, like the sky is the limit. Now I always suggest to do things that you don't have to do during like daytime hours because 99% of people have a full-time day job. So after your day job's over, after your family goes to sleep, you got time. You can spend the time learning during that time or you can spend that time doing once you've already learned your craft. Say for example, you dedicated yourself to learning photo editing. You spent every night after hours learning how to edit photos on whatever program you want, and now you have the skill. How do you monetize it? You go to Fiverr and you post a you know job listing that you're gonna do this for this amount of money. Then once the orders come in, again, at night after your full-time job, you're sitting there editing 20, 30 photos for clients and then sending it back to them. This is your side hustle. This is the thing, because you already got your bills kind of taken care of. Your side hustle is gonna supplement that and get you to a level of comfort. And the whole goal is to get the side hustle to have enough income to surpass your full-time job, then you can throw away your full-time job and focus on your side hustle. Because once you can focus on a thing that surpassed your normal job full-time, it will exponentially grow. I wasn't able to grow this YouTube channel until I quit my job and my 100% focus was day trading at this YouTube channel. So. When looking for that craft that you want to learn, then starting to dive into YouTube videos, there's a lot of garbage that you need to sift through. So I've kind of made it a little bit easier for you guys. I reached out to Skillshare and I got them to sponsor this video to give you guys one month access to Skillshare for free so that you can taste something that interests you, whether it's photography, whether it's graphic design, whatever you wanna do. You can learn how to program on Skillshare for a month for free. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community that has thousands upon thousands upon thousands of videos to learn different skills that will benefit you. You can literally learn like photography, video editing, you can learn graphic design, you can learn fine art or music, whatever you want to learn, the thing that you want to do in the future, you can learn it on Skillshare. Now, because I've made thousands upon thousands of videos, I needed to get better at editing. I needed to get faster at editing. So I went to Skillshare and I actually took a bunch of their online learning and just absorbed it right into my brain hole. So if you guys join Skillshare using the link below, the standard sign up is 14 free days. Now you get an entire month free to learn absolutely anything. This will allow you to dabble in something you've always been interested in. And if it's something you wanna continue, you can grow and develop and learn new skills. What I'm trying to do here overall is put myself in everyone else's perspective. I've been in crap situations and I know how to navigate the waters. So what I'm trying to do is remove all of the obstacles for you guys to get you to where you want to go the easiest way possible. I want to inspire you, I wanna motivate you, I wanna educate you, and I wanna help you. I want to be the person that you look to for guidance to help you get to where you want to go. It's very, very simple. Everybody has a goal in life, and everybody's goal is different, which is why I'm giving you multiple options constantly. And seriously, understand when I say this, it will not happen overnight. It will not happen this week. It will probably not even happen this year. To read all of these books that I listed to you took me years of reading and studying and implementing the practices that they teach in these books, but it is self-development. You have to put all of yourself into your self-development. You need to be able to become a better person using discipline, respect yourself, time management. All of these things is gonna make you feel whole and satisfied. When you shift your mindset into, I'm going to progress, how do I get better? Something about that shift gives you the energy that you need to make that shift happen. 
And I highly recommend all of those books that I listed to you because they deeply, deeply affected my life. So I want to get through to you guys and I don't want this video to turn into a 45 minute rant on me trying to convince you otherwise. So what I want you guys to do is in the comment section, tell me what your struggle is. Tell me what you're struggling with so that I can focus on those things. I can break it down and that will be my next video. I'm trying to help you. Give me your questions. Tell me what you want help with and I will help you, I promise. I really hope that this video got through to some of you to help you see the different options that you have in your life. You don't have to do something because somebody else is successful at it. You can pick the thing that actually makes you a little bit interested in and taste it and see if you can continue on that path. So I genuinely encourage you to start making the change in your life that you want to see. Also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I always have links to all of the audiobooks that I talk about in the description. So if you wanna try Audible and like read a book while you're walking to work or whatever, they're down below. You get a month for free and a free book. So pick one that inspires you out of my list. And that's it guys, it's simple. Take a step back and look at your life. Get yourself a different perspective. What's the one thing that you can do to change everything or make everything easier or the one thing that makes everything else unnecessary? If it's financial, learn a skill and make more money. If it's physical, start eating healthy and working out. If it's mental, do yoga every day and start meditating. Do the one thing that's going to fix everything. So if you wanna keep going and you wanna learn about health related things, check out this video right here that I did last week. And if you guys got some value out of this video and you wanna start making the change and you need that constant motivation, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Genuinely, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and we will see you in the next video.